For the disturbance, sir. Okay. That was a powerful ministration at the concert yesterday. Okay. We want to inform you that today's concert will begin at exactly five o'clock. Okay. And protocol officers will be in your hotel room by four thirty p.m. Okay. God bless you, sir. Okay. Oh. Amen. And hello? again and I look back you know this time I'm you know I'm kind of concerned um, so I smell smoke I look back and I just saw the, the grief the, the you know the anguish on the grief on her face and then I started to smell the smoke I started seeing smoke so um, we pulled over it was kind of you know it's kind of frustrating kind of scary um, and driving and we pulled her and it's, you know, it's nowhere really to pull over, so we're in the lane, so I'm, you know, looking back. Hello? Deborah, I told you, I am busy. Was that why you refused to pick my call all through yesterday night? Yeah, I was having a vigil at that particular time. So you can't make it today? Uh, no, I can't. Have you forgotten what's happening today? What is happening today? Today is your daughter's birthday. Do you want to talk to her? Uh, no, 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 no. No. Steve, your daughter. Yes, I know. I can't talk to her now. I don't have that time. I'll talk to her when I get home. She'll clock six today, which coincides with Mother's Day. And you forget these two occasions. What a responsible father you are. See, I have more important things to attend to. So God, if you're having a problem with my ministry, okay? I don't have a problem with your ministry. I have a problem with your priority. I have to go now. Steve. I'll talk to you when I get home. Ah.
thing is still there. Hello, good morning. Reception. Someone is in my room. Hello? I mean, there's an intro in this room. You, you, you need to call the police now. Is that from 110? Yes, it is. Have you seen the person? No, I can't. And you're certain the person is in your room? Yes. The person seems to know everything I do. He sees me, but I do not see him. You have to be clear on this, sir. The person is in your room and you can't see him. I know what I am saying. The person sees everything I do. How do you know this person sees you? He keeps sending me text messages. I've looked around the room. I do not see him, but he sees me. Does it include messages like, You can't see me, but I can see you. Let's get a little bit intimate. Who the hell are you? <laughs> I see you, Steve. I see everything you do. Who are you? I'm a father desperately looking for a communication with his son-in-law. I am not related to you in any way. You slept with my daughter yesterday, Steve. What does that make us? One big on. Happy family. Who are you? Can a man hide fire in his bosom without him being born? Can a man walk on hot coal without his feet born? Who are you? For the last time, who are you? I am the one sent from hell. To burn you with the fire you hid under your bosom. For the sake of intimacy, my name is Nicholas. Ah, I don't want to be intimate with you. Just leave me alone. Get out of my life. 
I'm sorry, Steve. You have my mark on your face. You are my property. I own you. You don't own me! Get out of my life! You sold yourself to me last night. Have you forgotten? When you slept with my daughter last night, I have a whole access to your room. I don't want any more of these games. Again, Steve, you cannot get out. She locked you in. I have a key with me right here. <laughs> oh, Steve. Stop scratching your head. I hate it. And how on earth are you monitoring me? <laughs> well, Steve, I have a monitoring device in that room. It was fixed in there when you slept with my daughter last night. I can see you. Uh, you mean like a camera? Anyway, you can call it whatever you want, son. I call it Sinoscope. Sinoscope? I never heard of that before. <laughs> see, but well, you have heard about Sin before. Sin? Yes. And what was that you did with my daughter yesterday when you slept with her after your preaching? I sent that girl to fix on you a monitoring device that I have fixed on countless people and it is called Sinoscope. <laughs> I see you, Steve. I can track you. <laughs> I, I, I'm not playing any games with you again. You think it's a game? Look at your face. Look at your damn face. You belong to me. I own you. You, you don't own me! You don't own me! I have a concert this evening and you can't stop me! Will you shut up, you damn fool? With which mouth will you preach the gospel? The mouth you used to kiss my daughter yesterday night? Oh, baby, don't cry. <laughs> stop it! Stop it! You don't control me. I control you, Steve. I tell you what to do. I tell you what to say. And I tell you where to go. You are in my cage. Steve, no going out. No coming in. <laughs> I, I bind you in the name of Steve. Steve. Don't go in that direction at all. You still don't get it. You don't have any authority to call that noble name at all. It can't work for you. The earlier you cooperate with me, the better for you, Steve. Okay. Okay. What exactly do you want from me? Now we are talking, Steve. I'm a very lonely person. I'm what has that got to do with me? Shut up and listen to me. I have no friend, but we can be good friends. <laughs> you can't have a friend this way. I already have you, Steve. My friend chose me. I don't choose them. A terrorist can never have a friend. And that's what you are, a terrorist. It's okay. If that is how you want it, then we shall play a game. What? 
Steve, I'm trying to be friendly now. You just have to cooperate with me. I'll give you some riddles. You just have to answer them for me. And if you don't cooperate, your wife will die. <laughs> I don't want any more of these games. I don't want to play this game. I don't want to. And what was that you did with me yesterday night? Long before you slept with my daughter. You've been playing my game. When you were secretly enjoying those moments of pornography and masturbation. You were playing my game. And when you were lustfully admiring different beautiful girls and married women in your office. You are playing my game. Steve. Sin is the game that I play. <laughs> I, I, I never knew she was related to you in any way. She approached me from the restaurant and... Yeah, 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 Steve. After the crusade yesterday, she said she likes you and you said you like her too. You both exchange contacts. On your way to your room yesterday, you bought two bottles of wine. You started the game already, Steve. Why don't you complete it? Yesterday was a mistake and it won't happen again. I still love my wife and daughter. No one can take them away from me. They have been taken away from you long before now. You lost them in your heart. I can't risk my family. I can't. Steve. You placed your family on the line when you slept with a stranger. You were a good player. Don't disappoint me now, Steve. I can't risk my family. You have already risked your family on the bed of adultery and fornication, Steve. So, my riddle is this. I can't do this. I can't. What animal walk on four legs in the morning? Two in the afternoon. And three in the evening. For the last time, I don't want to play your game! Sir, maintenance service. Tell that person to go away. Sir, maintenance service. Steve, tell that person to leave right now. We are busy. No! No! We are not! Steve, don't do it. Now, the game just got better. <laughs> Somebody help me. There is always in my room. There is always in my room. Somebody help me. Can you please open up from the inside, sir? No, 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 I can't. He locked me from outside. I can't open from here. I can't. Okay, calm down, sir. Let me try with my keys. Okay, please be fast, be fast. Sir, the door, the door is jammed from inside. Oh my god! Oh my god, please! Okay, okay, calm down. I'll be right back. Hello? Hello? Is someone there? Is someone there? Oh. Hello? Uh, we are not Steve. You are locked up in my cage. No one can get you out. You disappointed me. Why are you doing this? You broke my rules, Steve. Stop this! You broke my rules. And I shall break your daughter. No, 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 no! Leave my daughter out of this! Leave my baby girl out of this! You fool! I see her right now. Playing with her friends. You will hear from me soon. Somebody help! Help! Hello? Someone help me!
Yes, this is Esther's mother. Who am I speaking with? What happened to her? Oh my God, where are you now? Which hospital? I'll be right there, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Why are you crying? It is Esther. What happened to Esther? She had an accident while playing. She has been rushed to the hospital. She's right in the emergency room. He Hello, Deborah. Where are you? We need you. We need you. Where are you? He Hello? Hey. Hello, Deborah. Hello, Steve. Can you hear me? Deborah. Hello? Hello? Deborah! Oh. Oh, oh, God. I'm trapped. I'm trapped in the cage of my sins and immorality. I can't get out. I'm trapped. <laughs> Can we continue our game? Why are you doing this to me? Why? You gave me room to do it and you became my slave. No one breaks my rules and goes scot free. But my daughter was innocent! My daughter was innocent! But you are not. Like the oil poured on Aaron's head runs down his beard. So whatever affects the head affects the whole body. Steve, you should know better. I hate you! I hate you! You are evil! You are evil! <laughs> I love you, you said. <laughs> now, this is my first riddle. What animal Walks on four legs in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three in the evening. In ten minutes, Steve, I want my answer. What's my answer, Steve? I don't have your answer. 
then you don't have your wife. Goodbye. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. It's a. Uh, it, it, it's a. Uh, it's it's a a what? A, a a dog. Your immorality has blinded your reasoning, Steve. You are dead wrong, Steve. The answer is man. Since he crawls like a child, walks like a man, and when he gets older, he walks with a walking stick. So. Aren't we having so much fun, Steve? <laughs> I am not! Well, this is your punishment. For missing my riddle. So you climb on your bed and stand on one leg till I come back to you. <laughs> what? When I hang this phone and I see that your feet is still on the ground, Steve, consider your wife dead. So much, Steve. You are really making my day. <laughs> Won't you say anything? At least I'm serving your punishment already. What do you want me to say? What about I love you, Nico? <laughs> then we both know I'm lying. I want to hear you say it, Steve. I can never utter the next word and make your punishment worse. I, 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 I love you, Nico. Oh, how sweet. Thank you, dear. I will be back. <laughs> Have the punishment enough? Honey? What's that you should. Uh, eh? Dora, is, is that you? Yes, it is me. Whose punishment <sighs> are you serving? Who is with you? Uh, 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 we are conducting a serious deliverance session in the children's hall. So I'm telling the young man what to tell the, the, the demons. Oh, yeah? Tell them. Won't you leave me alone? Come on, Deborah, I'll get back to you. These demons, they are so stubborn. I'll get back to you. How is the girl? Doctor is attending to her. Oh, good. The Lord is in charge. I will call you back, okay? Yes, Steve, I love the lies you told your wife. Which lies you tell? makes you become like me. Men shall not live by the truth alone, 
but by every lie that proceeds from their mouth. <laughs> You are the devil! <laughs> you, are, you are the devil! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> are you just knowing? When you put your leg down, round one is over. <laughs> I never was. I'm always to be. Nobody ever saw me, nor ever will. Yet, I'm the confidence of all to live and breathe on this terrestrial ball. Then, what am I? What am I, Steve? Answer me. Wind. <laughs> no, you dumb skull. The answer is tomorrow. And for your punishment, stand on the bed and pick a pin. Nicholas, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> on your bed. Damn it. On your feet, Steve. I say, on your feet. Please, Nicholas. I say, on your feet. What is so fragile that when you say its name, it breaks? Uh, can you please give me just one minute to, to think about it? My answer now, Steve. Ah, what exactly do you want from me, Nicholas? My answer! But I, I don't know it. Then prepare to lose your wife. No! A river. River? Yes, river, that's the answer. Wrong. Steve, squat on your toes. With your hands. Stretch forth. Ah, but... How is she? Doctor says she will be all right. They are still treating her. Thank God. She wants to talk to you. Oh, sure. 
Wie war der Phone? Hello, my little angel. How are you? How is your body now? I am missing you, Daddy. I miss you too. When am I going to see you again? <sighs> Very soon. Very soon, I hope. My love. I. Father, can I speak to my daughter now? Sorry, Mr. Steve. We've just lost her a couple of minutes ago. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Give the phone to her. I want to talk with my daughter. I'm sorry, Mr. Steve. That may not be possible again. I'm sorry. She will speak to me. Give her the phone. Oh, Mr. Steve, I'm sorry. I'm a nightmare for some. But for others, as a savior, I come. My hands cold and bleak. It is the warm heart they seek. Steve, you're wasting my time. Answer me now, Steve. Steve! Death. That is your reward for getting the answer to my final riddle. What? A gift 
from me to you. Death? Yes. You want to kill me for getting the answer right? The last time I checked, the wages of sin is what? You killed my daughter. What tells you you want from me? The wages of sin is what? What tells you you want from me? The wages of sin is what? What else do you want from me? What tells you want from me? On that reading table, Steve, is a blade. Make use of it in the next five minutes. Go to hell! Go to hell! Right, Steve? Hell is my home. Have four minutes more. Nicholas! See that you're alive. Or your wife. I have done many things today. But to kill myself is the last. Right once again. It is indeed your last venture for today. This is too much for me. Steve, you of all people should know that anytime you play my game, you are killing yourself. So you pick up the razor and slice your wrist now. Steve, we have an unfinished business. Steve! Don't make the same stupid mistake like you made the last time. Nicholas, I am already dead. <laughs> Hello? Steve! Yeah, Deborah. Steve! Oh, I'm sorry, Deborah. Open the door, I want to see you. Oh, I can't. I'm trapped. I'm trapped in my sin and immorality. I can't get out. The door won't open. But if we confess our sins unto him, he's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. She's lying, Steve. Don't answer her. You know for how long you've been trying to get out. You can never be free. The Lord God says, if your sin is as red as scarlet, they will be as white as snow. And he says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And that is exactly what I want. I need rest from all these labors. <laughs> I need his peace. God can never forgive you. You are rejected. In this room, you shall die, Steve. First John 1, 8 to 9. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess unto him, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Steve! Make your choice. <laughs>
from a selfie. Jesus, have mercy on me. From outside, I've tried it. It won't open. It won't. No, open the door from inside now. Try it. Don't do it, Steve. You cannot be free. I can't be free. You are in my bondage, Steve. Jesus has set me free. No. Hey baby, this is Angela, the lady you met at the restaurant. Have you forgotten? You said you liked me, and I said I like you too. And so you promised to buy two expensive wine to honor what we have for each other. Hello? Why are you quiet about it? Have you forgotten? No. So, can I come over to your room now? Ah, no, 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 no. Don't come. Why? Because... 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 Because I don't want to sacrifice my life. My family. My peace. My freedom and my ministry on the altar of adultery. I don't want to keep fire in my bosom. Hey, what are you talking about? I know exactly what I'm saying. Steve, listen. Goodbye.
Hello? Steve. Deborah. Why did you refuse to pick my call throughout yesterday? Oh, I was in the middle of... So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you forgotten what's happening today? Today? Yes. Oh, how can I forget? She clocks six today. And also it coincides with Mother's Day. I cannot forget these two occasions. <laughs> what a responsible father you are. Do you want to talk to her? Oh, sure, sure. Daddy. Hello, baby. I'm missing you, Daddy. Oh, I miss you too. You're forever in my heart. Don't worry, I'm coming home soon, okay? I'm expecting you, Daddy. Buy something from you. Don't worry, I will. Please give the phone to your mom. Deborah. Yes? I love you so much. You've not said that in years. Oh, well, I'm a changed man. <laughs> so, are you coming to celebrate with us? Yes. I'm coming home. Steve. What has happened to you? I'm a changed man. I am a new man now. I am a new man. Bring you 
the news at 9, after which we're going to bring you the news at 10. But before then, we're going to step to a commercial break. I hope you enjoyed the worst day. Make, make sure you stay tuned. Don't touch that dial. Like I said, once again, this is 103.3 Spike FM. Says, come unto me, all you that labor and a heavy laden. Yeah, I am faithful and just to forgive you and to purify from all unrighteousness. Oh. If your sins be red as scarlet, ah, though they be as dark as crimson, yeah, he shall make it white as gold, and he shall make it light as blue. So that's why. Suffering. 